right, hello internet friends. I am Ryan. This is Demos in the Dark. Sit back, relax. We're gonna check out something new that is actually, it's pretty exciting. So Noise Engineering is a company that I know mostly from their modular products. And they are now kind of making their foray into guitar pedals. And the first one here is the Distorpia. And this is a digital fuzz distortion drive dirt box kind of thing. And it uses some wave folding and rectification signal processing that typically isn't used in guitar pedal design. So it, it's it's really a pretty unique thing. And um, let's run it down on a mix here first. I'm gonna use it on guitar. I'm gonna run it on bass. It sounds amazing on bass. I will also run some synth through here. And then come on back here and we will run through the Distorpia all by It's Lonesome. Thanks for sticking around. If you, like me, are a nerd who spends way too much time in your dark studio rather than being outside with normal people, then this is the place for you. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Um, I'm always interested in what you guys think about this stuff here. All right, let's take a look at these controls here. So first we have a gain, that is a gain. And then over here, we have a blend that goes from wet to dry. We have a tone control there that acts like a tone control, and then a separate mid-band uh, control as well, which is useful for guitar stuff. And then we have these two here. We have the Fold and the Pura, and those were the two knobs that I found myself turning the most when I was working on that track. Um, the Fold uh, sets the amount of wave folding applied to the signal, and the Pura sets the amount of full wave rectification applied to the signal, and the two work together tremendously. And then we have a couple of toggles below. We have a Doom toggle, we will go through that, and then an Envelope toggle, and we will go through that as well. Buttons, you have your on off here, and then this is a hold function, um, and it will actually record a little bit of your guitar, and then it will play it back to you. So that's cool. All right, so tonight I am going to be using an Abernethy Guitar Sonic Empress with Righteous Sun Bluebird pickups in it, and I'm running into a Silk Tone Amp. Silk Tone Amp sounds like this. <laughs> So let's uh, let's get a sound here. Uh, this one has the Pura all the way up and it actually has the fold all the way down. And what you're able to get is this really kind of, it's something you can use for like a rhythm kind of chunky chording. <laughs> And now, 
let's talk about the doom control. So we have a off right now. And then the next setting is having it have a sub in there. And then the uh, last one is blown. So we're actually gonna move it over to the sub. Now what happens if we go to blown? go back down to the sub and what happens if we bring in a little bit of that fold and what happens if we bring that pura back a little bit I think what I want to do is I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to bring up the fold and I'm actually going to set the Pura down. I'm going to kick up the mids a little bit and then we're going to move the envelope. We've been in this dynamic. We're going to move it to a gate. So one of my favorite sounds in the world is octave fuzz. It's just, I'm just hardwired that way. I love octave fuzz. And I'm sure you heard as we were going through um, some other stuff there that there were some octaves that kind of snuck in. So you can tease those out a little bit and get something that sounds really vintagey and cool. <laughs> that's rad is that there's expression control on the side here and that controls the tone pot so you can essentially end up using this thing kind of like a wah <laughs> So now I have a 70s Fender Music Master bass. I'm running into a Neve DI, into a Manly Force, into a DBX-160A with a little EQ on the back end. It sounds like this. Now this is set exactly the same as how we left it uh, with that last guitar sample. And check this out. Of course, I still have the expression in, so the tone is being controlled with my foot. 
Let's go over to the sub on the Doom Switch. Let's go all the way to Balloon. here that we didn't touch on is this button here. If you hold it down, it records a little bit of your signal and feeds it back to you. Um, so that's rad. That's just a rad little trick and something that obviously would be a lot easier to use if it were down at your foot. So overall, I think this is amazing. I think I found my new favorite bass fuzz. Um, you know, the blend control on there is very helpful, um, but it just, it seems to really resonate with bass really, really well. So I, I like this on bass a ton. I love it on guitar as well. It's gnarly, it's gross, it's spitty. It's everything that is, you know, like beautifully disgusting. And that makes it very, very cool as well um i'm just I'm, I'm i'm a fan so um thank you noise engineering for sending this over for me to check out and as always thank you for the privilege of your time hey.